Good afternoon, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and good 2021. As the governor indicated, vaccinations of our first responders, EMS, fire, and police, we're pleased to announce will begin on January 11th. Last, last week, I co-hosted a call with the Executive Office of Public Safety with just under 600 of our police, fire, and emergency colleagues. We reviewed the three vaccination pathways that the governor just discussed that have been in rapid development. On December 22nd, we posted and widely disseminated a guide to any organization who wanted to administer the vaccine directly for their employees. And just to reiterate a few of the points that the governor said. So a department who wanted to engage in the direct vaccination of its staff can apply directly to the Department of Public Health. And we're very pleased that some of our ambulance companies have stepped up in that effort. The qualifications include you must plan to vaccinate at least 200 individuals because obviously we need to ensure that these vaccines are carefully protected. You have to be registered with the Massachusetts Immunization Information System. You, you have to submit a completed unique Massachusetts COVID-19 vaccine program agreement. And you have to have a vac vaccination standing order by a physician in place, by a medical provider in place. And then there's 10 specific other criteria around managing the vaccines, observing individuals post-vaccination coming in and out and the um, appointment process. So given that those are the requirements, we came up with option two. Phase two, or pathway two, is 180 local health departments and a number of healthcare providers, from CHCs to hospitals to large practices, are standing up more than 60 sites across the Commonwealth to vaccinate, to be available to vaccinate our first responders. A map will be available today at www.mass.gov backslash first responder vaccine that will list all these vaccination sites. It is dedicated to our first responders. The vaccination sites are appointment based and later this week, first responders, as the governor said, will be able to visit the page to make an appointment at their convenience for vaccination at one of these locations. To be clear, don't sign up yet. Appointments are not yet available. And then the third opportunity, the third pathway, is we are rapidly finalizing the detail on an initial four mass vaccination sites. First responders will also be able to visit one of those regional mass vaccination sites later this month. We're working to finalize the contract with the vendors, and we expect to have a few sites operational as soon as possible. Once operational, we expect that these sites will have the capacity to administer 2,000 vaccines per day. The governor um, covered where we are with the field hospitals. So my final point is, finally, in response to the December 22nd revised COVID-19 vaccine recommendations of the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practice, otherwise known as ACIP, the Commonwealth's COVID-19 Advisory Group convened on December 23rd and 30th to di discuss whether any changes to its previous recommendations were warranted. The group came to consensus on one single change to the current recommendations, taking into particular consideration ACIP's highlighting of individuals aged 75 and older as being at particular risk of serious complications of COVID-19. Based on this recommendation of the COVID-19 Vaccine Advisory Group, we are updating prioritization today so that individuals ages 75 plus are included in phase two, group one, along with individuals of all ages with two plus comorbidities. This change impacts approximately 170,000 individuals ages 75 and older who were not already included in this phase two, group one, based on their comorbidity status. These changes, as I said, will be reflected on mass.gov COVID vaccine today.